Chelsea are up and running and they're ready to play their second preseason friendly in America in there for you. And remember, the first game they really played Club America and they played Club America. Chelsea won that game by two goals to one. But remember, Timo Werner came on scored in the 55th minute. Then Club America equalized after five minutes. And then in the 83rd minute, Mason Mount really went ahead to really give Chelsea that deserved win in the for you in America and tomorrow or to, to tomorrow they're really going to play a side which goes by names of Charlotte FC and we're here to literally to really let you know how Chelsea might stand and what do we believe Chelsea is going to be like in the for you and who is really starting is is Kuli Bale starting is uh, Raheem Sterling really getting his first note as a Chelsea player in the for you that is the debut full debut for him we are in here to let you know what Thomas Tuka is going to have to say about that but here onto the channel which is no which goes by names of Rokani Media Football we are trying to add up things and don't suit it that we match the really the real the real man the real man the real mind of the manager of Chelsea who goes by names of Thomas Tuchel. Remember Thomas Tuchel came in through when Frank Lampard was sacked that was in 2020 then he went ahead to really win the Champions League and we don't have to win the Champions League he was here he has been in the sagas and he has lost very many players that is Antonio Rudiger is has gone then Christiansen went for free then there are other players who are really want who are really wanting to leave Chelsea in the names of Marcos Alonso there is another player known as Aspliqueta whom the club has told that please we are going to allow you to go to Barcelona but first and foremost allow us first get in your replacement when we get a new replacement then we'll happily let you go in there for you I think the likes of Timo Vana Pulisic ZH their future at Chelsea is really hanging in balance but I'm not sure that Chelsea can really go ahead and really replace these players in the little time they are left with in there for you. Someone might say that, Rokani, why are you saying little time? Guys, it's all about first September and that's when the deal is really go. Sorry, that's when the transfer window is really going to be closed. You get? So, we are remaining with like 42 days. That is like a month and um, some two weeks. You get? So, do you think Chelsea will go ahead and redecide really close to more five players? Because if I told you let Timo Werner, Christian Pulisic, and ZH go, you add them to Marcos Alonso and Marcos Alonso and uh, and Aspliqueta, then the two that really went on to the free transfer, Rudiger and Christian, those are seven players. And most of those were so much part of your team. So how much do you expect you to win and spend to get in their replacements either for you? So I think that's why you saw in the game of in the game of in the game of Club America, the likes of Ross Buckley were given some playing time. Corner Garaga was into there in the mix. So I'm here waiting to see how Chelsea are really going to go on and handle their transfer window because some players need to be convinced by the manager not to leave. You get Timo Werner looks like he's not wanted at Chelsea. He wants to find his place elsewhere. When you look at players like Christian Pulisic, he's demanding for more playing time. And recently was so much linked to a team which goes by names of Liverpool and very many others. ZH is linked to AC Milan and Manchester United. So we are in here waiting to see how everything is going to go in there for you. And when you look at the situation which Thomas Tuko is, it's really so much, so much worrying. And he is he's, he's in between a hard press and a rock. That's it. That's it. He's in dilemma, guys, because he needs to take serious decisions in the way. But the good thing that he really has, and the only positivity he has, is that the new owner, Tony Boyle, is really good at really getting him what he wants. You get? He has so far got him two players, and they are chasing in for more. Jules Conde, that there is a bid for Frankie De Jong, and very many others. And we are waiting to see how their season is really going to go ahead and really transpire to the levels where they want it to be smash the like button comment and share i go by the names of rock and david and this is the rockani media football channel and let's get straight into this game of football where chelsea is going to play time which goes by names of charlotte and you know that they are all in america and chelsea's last game in america they're going to play a side which goes by the names of arsenal over the weekend that is going to be on the 24th of this month in there for you so I've gone ahead to really sit with my team and really thought what Thomas Tuchel is going to bring in for you. But he has some updates on some of the players. He has said that Ross Buckley, Batushai, which other players? He has talked about three players that are going to hit to impress him in training. And we believe that they deserve a chance. And you think that Batushai is back at Chelsea to really get back 
his position. I doubt because I will believe that Raheem Sterling has been brought at Chelsea to play as a false number nine in there for you. And Batushai might act as a backup. I know that can happen in there for you. I decide which goes by name to Chelsea. So let's get straight into the predicted lineup of Chelsea versus the side which goes by names of Charlotte in America in there for you. So smash the like button and let's go in there for you with the system of Chelsea is playing a system of three three four two one you know that very well caesar uh, this is um mm, the goalkeeper as a balaga the goalkeeper of chelsea second choice i know he's going to start in goal and he really was in goal and then they brought in mendy later so i believe that he's going to gate himself into that position of the goalkeeping of chelsea and then later a man who goes by name of Edward Mendy will come in through to get that position really ready and then he gets that position warming in there for you as they take on Charlotte in there for you because he needs to get in some more minutes. I know he's going to start in goal when they're playing a side which goes by name of Arsenal. Chaloba expected to play onto the onto the right side of the central defense. Remember, Chelsea plays with a back three. You know that very well. I thought we would go ahead and change this system, but when I saw their game against Club America, he came up with the same system. Three central defenders, and then he played with four, with two midfielders, two wing backs, and two or three forwards in there for you. That is Thomas Tuchel with his famous system about him. Then we go to the left back. It's not the left back, the left side of the central defense. Malanga Sa always is going to come in and play because a player who goes by the names of Kalidi Kulibale is not really meant to be part of this and let me show you why he's not meant to be part of this reason is simple the manager of chelsea came out and told us that he told us in the press conference that i don't want to rule it out but it's very likely he will not play tomorrow i'm happy because he is a calm guy and you see his quality leadership he has a certain personality that you feel when when he is here so he's saying he might not play and when a manager says he might not play means that why really risk my guy yet he's just new to the team and really put him with this team when we are just going to play just this game against club america i think it's better you let him train very well like he let sterling go ahead and trained before that game of club america and you never gave it to him then you have to wait for him and coming through in the game of arsenal most especially in there for you he continued to say that as you can imagine we have players in third week of preparation with completely different physical foundation it's not good much for him to start with the team that's it so i backed the manager of chelsea that he was so much real about kali de Bale, and he told you that he's not going to start so most of you thought that oh he was going to start onto the left side of the central defense of chelsea because they play a three-man midfield he's not going to start the managers come out and really told us that don't expect him to be in there for you because we have players that are in the third week of their composition in there for you and why should we risk to bring in a player who has just started and not even made a week at chelsea of training and his physical foundation is not yet to that level of others so we have to come in and fill in players who are really fit and let's wait and see whether he'll be really so much fit over the weekend to play against arsenal that is thomas Tuchel for you now in the central in the central defense who's going to the defender who's going to be playing centrally in the three man mid in the three man defense obviously tiago silva tiago silva the brazilian he's really great but at the age of 37 38 he's really showing us that now players can really stretch themselves to those levels of playing up to 40 years and i know he wants to still be playing at top at a top club football until the age of 40 because he looks like he is not going nowhere and at Chelsea he's representing very well and Chelsea fans are so much happy for him to be in here. And mind you, he, this guy chased for the Champions League at Inter Milan, he chased it at PSG, he didn't win it and guess what, miraculously he won it at Chelsea. You know that very well, although he really played, I think, were, were they 35 minutes in the final and then they brought on Kat Zuma, I remember that like yesterday when they're playing, when they're playing Man City and they beat Man City by one goal to nil, it was scored by Kai Havas in there for you. Then let's get to what we call the wing backs. Rhys James obviously is going to play as a wing back onto the right, and you know he's one of the best wing backs or right backs in the Premier League. That's it. 
him um Trent Alexander Arnold, Cancelo, Robertson, um Chichurela. Mm, I think that's the list. Just to name but a few, but I know he's one of the best and I know you can't really doubt his abilities and and potential. I decided which goes by names of Chelsea, especially playing that position in the foyer because he really scored very many goals last season. When you look at him, let me even check about Race James. Rich James for Chelsea last season. He really had a fantastic season according to me. He scored five goals in the Premier League. He scored five goals in the Premier League and put up nine assists. So a player like that is really so much pivotal and important to a side or a system of 3 4 2 1, especially for Thomas Tuchel, and we expect him to go in and do the needful for side, which goes by name of Chelsea in there for you. And you know what he does on laying in those assists and then scoring goals. So, 26 games played in the Premier League, he had 14 goal involvements in the Premier League, and the Champions League played six and really scored one goal. So, it shows you that he's really a very, very good player and important to the system because he went ahead to do the needful for side, which goes by name of Chelsea, and he really flies onto that right flank very 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 well let's go to the left wing back in there for you obviously he know he's goes by the, he goes by the names of ben chilwell remember ben chilwell was bought from leicester city in there for you at around 50 60 million pounds by chelsea and he really came in through and he really never had a fantastic season because he really got lots of injuries to an extent that he only played seven premier league games he scored three goals he scored three goals and one assist. So it shows you that he had a very good potential and so much to add to Chelsea because in the seven games he played in the Premier League, he scored three goals and put up one assist. Seven, seven games, four goal involvement. So you see to it that the wing backs of Chelsea are so much active. All of them combined in 32 games, they have close to 20 goal involvements. Can you imagine? Do you know what that means? That meant that, meant that if at all Ben Chilwell played the entire season and averaged some 30 games, he would have really gone ahead to score like 10 goals and put up a number of, of assists in the for Chelsea. So when you look at those two, playing on the left and right respectively, it shows you or sends you a clear message that Chelsea are not here for a joke and they know that the creativity is going to come so much from those wing backs and Ben Chilwell is already back and he played in the game of a side which goes by names of club america and i think he's going to start in this game when they're playing a team which goes by the child because he's one of those that is coming from a long injury i think the injury was close to six seven months for him he's coming in from injury and the manager needs to get him fully fit to prepare him for the opening game of chelsea in the premier league next season then let's go to the two midfielders in there for you that are going to play into that double pivot because that's a double pivot for you for chelsea that is Jorginho, obviously one of my best midfielders in there for you very much come and corner garag i expect him to come in through and really play into that position i think in the game it was ross buckley and very many other players in there for you for chelsea but this time around i will believe that it's going to be Jorginho and corner garag and corner garaga with the form he really came in from crystal palace he really went ahead to come in here and really intricate it at a chance which goes by him chelsea and chelsea is really doing great in there for you and i really believe that he adds so much more to the team especially going forward and he is really a box-to-box -box player in there for you so that pivot is like a double pivot but Jorginho acts like the sitting the sitting midfielder and then corner garaga really lays it out through to the levels that it's wanted by a manager who goes by name thomas tuko so i expect that double mid pivot of corner garaga and Jorginho in there to start for that Chelsea team that's going to face Charlotte in there for you. Then we get to the two forwards in there for you that are playing immediately after this four that are playing immediately in front after the the four players that is James, uh, Chilwell, Gona Garaga and and um, and Jorginho. I know Calmson Odoi. Calmson Odoi is one of the players that is really working hard to impress the manager and he played very well into that game of a side which goes by the names of Chelsea when they're playing Club America. I really believe that the manager is going to grant him another chance to go in and play into that position where he really likes, especially in the forward positions in the for you. Because way back, Thomas Tuchel really played 
him as a wing back, especially on the right and left wing back since for you before he really got an injury. But he returned and he's really showing so much progress at Chelsea and it looks like the manager doesn't want to let him go and believes that he has a lot in him to offer for Chelsea this season and the same applies to to Carlson Odoi. He really came out and made a very firm statement that please, I'm here to get into the level in there for you that you guys deserve me to be in there for you. Then we get to another player who is going to play in front of that those four players in there for you. He's the Captain America, that is Christian Pulisic. One reason as why I've known that he's going to start is simple. If at all you appear with the manager in the press conference, obviously, according to me, it sends a message to me that you're really going to go ahead and start. That's it. I expect Christian Pulisic to come in and start and play into that position of the, of, I think, as the left forward in the for you, the side which goes by names of Chelsea, as Calmson Odoi is the right forward. So let's get into who is leading the line, the side which goes by names of Chelsea. And guess what? The manager had to say this onto the new signings and who expects to come in and make his debut for said which goes by name Chelsea. In his own words he said, Thomas Tuchel new signings, it's always been, it's always, it's always the dream to find players in the same league to adapt quicker. We see Raheem knows many players from the national team. He's familiar with the habits in the English clubs. This is very nice. And he went ahead to say <laughs> he's absolutely ready to go. He will be on the pitch tomorrow. He's excited to play. So obviously, the manager has given us green light that Raheem Sterling, their first signing under the Toddy Boyle era, is going to start in this game of football where Chelsea is going to play a side which goes by names of, by the names of Charlotte in there for you. And that means he has granted him his debut or a full debut for Raheem Sterling tomorrow as they play as they play Charlo tomorrow and there he comes onto your screen. So just get to know that a team which goes by names of Chelsea are really going to give Raheem Sterling a debut of his life that he might have been waiting for in here onto this channel which goes by names of Rockan Media Football and they're down in America and he's expected to start for the Chelsea side. Thank you guys for watching in. Smash the like button, comment and share. Feel free to let me know what you think about this predicted lineup of Chelsea versus the side which goes by the names of which goes by the names of Charlotte in there for you and tell me your predictions in there for you but I've told you that Koli Bale is not going to start. The manager said that he's on to just the first week physical foundation yet there are other players that are really undergoing their third foundation and there is no way he's going to go in and risk himself to put him on the field of play yet there are players that have been here and they are 100% fit in the favor but he say that he's a very cool guy and he has some good qualities on him especially the leadership qualities has been the captain of Napoli he's the captain of the Senegalese national team but if at all he's to play I think the manager will think about him when they are playing a side which goes by name of Arsenal over the weekend in a game that most of you will want to watch in here onto this channel, which goes by names of Rokani Media Football in there for you. So that is the predicted lineup of Chelsea. Kepa as a Balaga in goal. Shaloba. Thiago Silva. Malanga Sa. That is the back three. For side which goes by name of Chelsea. Rhys James, the right wing back, and Ben Hirwell, the left wing back. Conor Garaga and Jorginho playing into that pivot of Chelsea. That is a double midfield pivot in there for you. With Carlson Odoi playing as the right, the right forward. You get? Then Christian Pulisic, Captain America, playing on the left forward. With Raheem Sterling expected to get his debut. They said which goes by the name of Chelsea down in America in there for you. So I sign out for now, guys. See you tomorrow. I might come back and do a live video, but let me wait and see how my mind is going to let me know about because there are stories coming in for Chelsea. Frank de Jong bid. There is a battle between Sevilla. Sorry, there's a battle between Barcelona and Chelsea over George Kunde that is really gaining momentum and this is really working for Sevilla. Sevilla has finally put Chelsea into a bidding war that they almost wanted. And guess what? Everything is really going to the side of Sevilla because now they can get 65 million euros because Barcelona was planning to give them 50 million euros plus add-ons of close to six that plus add-ons that would have really summed that deal to 60 million euros. But they said no. They rejected the first offer 
and now Chelsea is in with 60 million euros and now Sevilla is telling them that please we want 65 million euros and that is the buyout clause for the player who goes by the names of Jules Conde. So I'm going to be back maybe later if I really find it necessary that I should come here and do a live video as you guys really go ahead and do the need for either for you. And Barcelona is taking on a certain team either for you in America is Inter Miami and let's see whether I can come in and really break that game down in here for you. I sign out for now. See you later. This is Rokani David and this is Rokani Media Football. But your predictions are welcome into the comment section below. Even tell me which player do you feel should have started or should have been in my predicted lineup according to you and how you want Chelsea to line up because I know several Chelsea fans watch this channel and love it. I sign out for now. See you later and good night, good morning, good afternoon and good evening depending on which part of the world you are watching us from because this channel is watched from all corners of the world. I sign out for now. See you later. Lastly, in a giphy, I return.